Hello you guys. So today I thought it would be the perfect day to touch base on exactly how we do our doctor's appointments, how we do the vet appointments, the dentist. So how do we do that all while being a full-time RV family? And how do you do it without getting overwhelmed? Because it is overwhelming at first. So I am here to break all of that down for you. If you are considering the full-time RV lifestyle, if you know someone who's in it, or if you are an RVer and you're overwhelmed, take a second, like this video, save it down, or send it to a friend, etc. So let's get into it. The very first thing, um, our pediatrician, the same one we've had since the boys were born, um, there's an app, a healthcare app, um, and most healthcare providers do offer some sort of app. So through that app, I not only have access to all of my kids' immunization records, other types of records, and I have the ability to chat with a nurse um, that works for their pediatrician. So it's not just a random doctor, it's a nurse that can access their records since birth and really help me out. And I feel like I'm getting that personalized one-on-one -on -one care and they're able to send a prescription to wherever we are in the US. So it's been really helpful. Apps, number one, and the same thing goes for our dog. So our dog's vet has an app. I am able to access all of his records from there. Um, I can chat, I can call, I can really get him taken care of as well, the same as the kids. And the same thing goes for Anthony and I. So obviously we don't have a pediatrician, but for our healthcare providers, we have that same app type communication. So that is super helpful, especially when you're zipping all over the US all the time. <laughs> Next thing is if you don't have access to an app that has all of your records, uh, make sure you have a physical copy or an email copy, something, something if you don't have the app version, you need to make sure that your medical records for not only yourself, but your children are on your person or accessible all the time. And I will tell you, this is very important because when we have traveled, and we have a three and a five year old, um, there have been two occasions where it's happened one time each. So once with Graham, once with Ollie, where they have either gotten hurt. So Ollie is Mr. Fast and Furious. So he hurt his head right here and he ended up needing uh, glue stitches. So I had all of the records on our phone. So as soon as we got to the urgent care center, I was able to, prov to provide everything they needed right away. So always make sure you have records, guys. Records, records, records have all that on you in some format all the time. Next thing is, and if you haven't started RVing yet, definitely do this. So before you hit the road, get all of your appointments out of the way. The last thing you wanna do is hit the road, you're all excited, travel, adventure, and then it's like, oh, but hang on, I've gotta go to the dentist in uh, two weeks. Have all the appointments gone, okay? Get them out of the way before you start. <laughs> if you're already on the road, or what I do, since we are a full-time RV family, um, I plan ahead by several, several, several months. And by doing this, I'm able to get all of our appointments within the same week. If you wait until, you know, the week before, the day before, whatever, there's no way to do that. Um, usually dentists, doctors, they are booked out quite a bit of time, at least our doctors are and dentists are. Um, so I try and book it out several months in advance. And that way, when we are back at our home base, which I call our home base, my father-in-law's driveway. <laughs> um, we do not have a house. We live full-time in an RV, but most of our family lives around the Southern Indiana area. Um, so my father-in-law, he installed a 50 amp for us and we have water connection and everything right there in his driveway. So God bless him. I call that our home base and it's wonderful. So I just try to plan everything out within a week. So we get to our or my father-in-law's on a Saturday morning, say, and that Monday through Friday, that's our opportunity to go to the dentist, make sure our wellness exams are finished, etc. Then we're able to hit the road. We're all caught up. We're good. Check, check, check off the list. We're set. And then I do want to touch base as well, because I know not everybody has like a pediatrician or a dentist that they really use or a home base, for instance, that they really like. And something I like to say to that if you don't have a home base that you go back to for your appointments, that's okay. I would recommend finding a chain of healthcare. For instance, um, Norton Healthcare. Um, we used them when we were staying in Louisville with my dad when we were thinking about moving there. Norton is wonderful and our kids had a sinus infection and I couldn't drive the two hours that day to take them to the doctor. So I found a really awesome pediatrician through Norton. And if I were to do this all again and I was looking for a chain, I would probably go through Norton Healthcare. 
if you're in a different part of the U.S., pick a chain that is in most areas that you visit, or at least um, in the areas where you don't mind going back to for a week or so to get those appointments out of the way. And then, you know, you're kind of set that way. As for like the vet, we do fit his appointments in when we go back for our wellness exams. But if we need an emergency visit or something comes up, I just find the nearest really trusty vet near us. And again, I have that app with his records that I'm able to, to provide on the spot. And then it gets all that done. Plan ahead, you guys. Plan ahead. Make sure everybody's appointments are as close as possible. If you have more than one child, a lot of dentists and pediatricians will allow you to book multiple kids within the same time block. So for instance, my boys had a dental appointment today. It was the routine cleaning. They were both able to go at 940. Same appointment time, two appointments, done, done. You just, you get a lot accomplished that way. So a lot of people, you guys, when they RV, I've heard horror stories where they let the health stuff slip, you know, lose track of time or just like, they just forget and you can't do that. Um, that's very, very important. Health, education, wellness, all of that needs to stay at the tip top of your priority list, regardless of RVing or not. On top of that, and I'm going to make a separate video as well, but fitness, if you're looking to do anything fitness wise, YMCA is what we use because they are across the nation. They've been everywhere we've ever been and they are one of the only, if not the only, I think they're the only ones who have consistent childcare across everywhere we visited. So that's what we do for fitness as well. I'm, I'm gonna do a separate video, but that has been asked this week. So I just wanted to touch base on that. We use the YMCA um, because childcare. But yeah, I hope that helps you guys. If you have any further questions on strategy or how we book things or you know how we do all of that it's a lot of moving pieces but it really doesn't have to be as intimidating as it sounds and i just i'm here to help you in any way i can so make sure to take a second like subscribe all of that a lot more rv content coming your way yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it you guys have an amazing day